Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Meredith had 12 packages of erasers to put into bags. Each package had 43 erasers. That's going to be important. Six erasers go into a bag. And we're looking for the greatest number of bags she could have put erasers into. So we're looking for bags. We know that the erasers go into each bag. But we don't know how many erasers we have, so we need to start there. So we've got 12 packages of erasers. And each package, there we go, look at this, each package had the same amount. So this lets me know I'm dealing with equal groups. Whenever we see anything that tells you equal groups, each group had the same number, the same number in each group, that lets you know equal groups is coming, which is our clue for either multiplication or division. So let's draw a strip diagram to see if we can figure out what we're doing here. I've got 12 packages. And I'm, what I need to figure out is how many total erasers I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw my strip diagram. And my total is going to be my unknown. That's my number of erasers. That's what I'm looking for. And I've got 12 packages. How do we draw 12? Well, let's take our whole. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to cut our each of our halves into thirds. So now we got sixths, and then twelfths is merely cutting each sixth into half. So I've got 12 packages here, and inside each of these is going to be 43. So one way would be to just add 43 12 times, but hopefully you see that a better way to do that would be to go ahead and just multiply 43 times 12. So that's going to get me my total number of erasers. I'm not going to be finished yet. But I need to go ahead and just, I've got 12 groups of 43. So let's just multiply those two. We could do it right over here. 43 times 12. I'm going to use the commutative property. I can flip these around any way I want to. I'd rather do the 43 times 12 just because I like having that 1 down on the bottom number. It makes it easier to multiply. So 2 times 3 is going to be 6. 2 times 4, that is going to be 8. So that's pretty easy. Put a zero there because that one is really in the tens place. And then I just kind of copy the three and the four. So I've got six. I've got 11. So I've got 516, which is probably the most popular and correct answer, but I'm not done yet. I've got 516 erasers now. That's all I know. I need to put six erasers into each bag. So what I need to do now is I need to take my new total of 516 and I need to put six erasers into each bag each bag once again equal groups meaning that we're going to be doing multiplication or division in this case we're going to be dividing because I need to know how many sets of six can I get out of that 516 so that's long division so six goes into five it doesn't six goes into 51 Oof. eight times we have to know our sixes here 8 times 6 is 48. We're just going to ignore this other 6. Pretend like it's not there. We're dealing with the 51. 51 minus 48, that's 3. Check. Is that 3 smaller than the 6? Yes, we're good to go. Let's bring this 6 down. Start all over. 6 goes into 36. Oh, good. It's going to be even. 6 times. Because 6 times 6 is 36. And there we go. That's how many bags I can use. Is that 86? But now I've got to bubble it in correctly. I can do all of that and still bubble it in incorrectly. So let me just show you the top part here of what your answer document is going to look like. You've got all the circles underneath. You've got a decimal right there. You've got two spots to the right of the decimal we are ignoring. You've got three spots to the left of the decimal. That's what we're looking for. 86, we've got our 10s and our 1s right there next to the decimal. So we're going to bubble it in like this, 86. Just make sure you find your 8 and your 6 below to bubble in.